hopes that the Florida authorities have the, the issue of paternity. Well, we're actually, we also have. Now, if uh, the DNA testing occurs through this court, and if that's how it's supposed to happen, that's fine. If it is, if it is determined that Mr. Burkhead is the biological father, and I'm not saying he may not be. We think it's Howard Stern. We just want this to be done through the appropriate jurisdiction and the uh, uh, appropriate supervision. But if he was the biological father, he can't do anything with that order in California. He has to take it to the Bahamas and request custody there. So why he hasn't done anything in the Bahamas in regards to custody yet, we don't know. But where? And uh, when I finally was able to talk to Howard last night, um, you know, he's just uh, really, I can't tell you how, uh, how grave this is. He's, uh, I'm very concerned for Howard. I'm a little bit angry right now because I should probably be there in Florida. Uh, Howard needs uh, all the uh, friendship and assistance he can have right now. And um, uh, I'm sure that uh, he is thinking about getting back with Danny Lynn have as soon as he can. Well, the First, my client, Larry Burkhead, wants to extend his condolences uh, to uh, the family of Anna Nicole. He is grieving, he's been up all night, and he is deeply saddened by the death of uh, the mother of his child and the woman who was the love of his life. And he's taking it very difficult, uh, in a very difficult way, and that's why he's not here today. Um, we had does that, does that still stand? It does not stand because the, uh, we asked that the, it is very important that the DNA connect Anna with the baby being tested. We do not want a bait and switch of a child. And even though people will say that's preposterous, that's ridiculous, it is a legitimate legal concern that the body being, uh, the baby being tested is Anna Nicole's. Deborah, when will the baby get... We had at, it does not stand because